Hey everyone, Camaro Show here. Today we have some great news from Eagle Jet Marine. Today it was announced to retailers that the Radeon Generation 5 will be coming very shortly. It is supposedly to ship February 17th. It was also leaked today on Reef to Reef and many other sites and spread out through the reefing community. There are some great improvements and upgrades to these, to these lights compared to Generation 4's. Generation 4's used a puck design, similar layout to all the other generations, just very upgraded and great lights. I use them on all my systems. I love them. They grow core well. They color core well. Great lights. Love LEDs. Generation 5's though, they have dished the pucks. Which is a huge jump from Ecotec. They went with a whole spread LED continuously through the entire light. Similar to the design of, of Black Box and Orpex. Orpex used single large LEDs throughout the entire light. Ecotec did something very similar. They're still very small, around 11 inches by 7, I believe, with only 1.5 inches high. That's for the SR30s. They have a still have the HEI um, lenses that are actually improved against the original HEIs on Generation 4s. Probably another huge upgrade and change for the Ecotec Radeon line is there's now two XR30s and XR15s. Well, you don't say, well, there's two XR30s before, the Pro and the Non Pro. Well, they just ditched the Non Pro because it sold very poorly. It was actually made to be used on fish only tanks. Which if you don't spend still spend seven hundred dollars on light for a fish only tank, there's nothing wrong with you. Instead, they announced the blue and the pro of each. The blue is still a full spectrum light, but it includes a more more geared towards this using blue light. They I believe a FL thirty Blue has 36 blue LEDs around now, and the Pro has 28 maybe around there. Somewhere I have to look again online. I'll include the link I have in PDF to each of these that was leaked today in my description down below. Please like and subscribe. But if you're playing, if you're a heavy blue light guy like I am myself, I like blue light. I feel it grows coral well, I feel the blue light colors up coral. I still run light some lot of warm light in my spectrum. I use a modified A B plus. I still I feel white acts more as natural sunlight, but the blue is what really gets the coral going. They are supposedly to be more affordable, is what I was told read on Reef the Reef earlier today. Well, I just read another article and it says Gen, not Gen, Generation 5 XR30 Pros will still be $839. Which I know a lot of your budget guys are still saying that's too much. I mean, rent, I pay that much for my Generation 4s and they are highly worth it. Now, if you're just a guy who just wants to keep his reef tank from LPS, might not be worth upgrading. But if you're a hardcore coral farmer, and into selling, trading, fragging, like I and myself, shows, it might be worth upgrade. Now, honestly, we can't really tell that fast right now because it's not even released yet. But I'm sure WWC is probably already using them in their core form, I'm sure. I'm sure many lab, I'm sure there's a lot of lab research already on the lights, but they would have to be if they want to improve them, they would have to test them. Another kind of not so great thing about them is since because they changed the heat sink to make it quieter of a fan and more evenly distributed heat, they changed the RMS mount. So you can still use your formal mount you have, but you have to buy an adapter for it. The problem with that is these adapters I saw through a leaked price picture is around still around $100 for just an adapter. And I paid maybe 75 for my armor mounts itself for my generation 4s 
So that that's a pretty big price increase if you don't use your old mount. And if you guys have any other questions, I'm gonna keep you guys updated on this release. I'm probably gonna be selling my generation fours and upgrading myself and ready doing the test. So please like and subscribe below. Thanks. The Camaro Show.